Alrighty then, hello everybody, it is Paper Spyro, and I took the liberty of just coming over to the Dragon Statue. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Spyro 4, Enter the Dragonfly, yada yada yada. But anyway, we got the Electric Breath Rune in the uh, in Episode 2, actually. So we get to use it, and it looks like this. Very bad animation, but we're going to use it to go in that Electric Gate area that I showed you guys all the way back in Episode 1. Yeah, it only took us two parts to get through that uh, that level right there, and we're not even all the way done with it yet. Uh, yeah, this game kind of moves a lot slower than like Super Mario 64 or anything like that, where you're doing like a thousand things. Either way, now that we're in past that electric rate, we can come down here and visit the um, electric-based levels. Well, not really electric-based levels, but the levels that have to do with electricity challenges and everything, and... We're mostly just going to be knocking out the stuff that's down here. We can get a couple dragonflies now that we're here. Maybe we can get three. So now this is going to be a bit of a small part, but... You know, what are you going to do about it? As well, of course, I was about to explain that. You can shut up. That is the challenge portal for the electric gate. So, shut up. All right. Yes, it's not any different really from the uh, flame challenge. The targets are a little bit different, but that's about it. So, bubble breath, bubble breath. There we go. Hey, it's Kanichi. I don't think they even tried to change these names at all from the Japanese version. Wait, was there a Japanese version of this game? I don't remember if Spire is an American game or not. Probably is in. J yeah, it's in Japan too. Because of that, uh, I know that because of the Ripto theory. If I, if I didn't explain that before, or you just don't know, the Ripto theory is basically that uh, Ripto's name actually comes from the Japanese box art of the first, or the second Spyro game. Or one of the Spyro games, because Spyro's text in Japanese looks like Ripto. The word Ripto. Not the character. So, that's where a lot of people think his name came from. I don't really know for sure, so... You can think that if you want. Maybe true. It could be true, for all we know. Someone should a ask that in an interview. Where did Ripto's name come from? That would be uh, pretty awesome. Wow, these uh, these usually aren't that easy to catch. Um, They usually don't stay in place for nearly that long. Alright, and we've got our first real underwater section to show the god-awful underwater controls. And uh, an underwater level to go with it, for that matter. I think you need ten dragonflies to get there. So, you know, if you, this game hasn't turned you off, uh, by the time you get those ten dragonflies to go there, it probably will once you get there. Uh, as well, ladders, you can jump on them and climb them with really bad animations and climbing and crap. Anyway, electric gate time. So, my route for this is pretty much just to go over here, because they have one over here. Shock it. Shock it. Sometimes these things glitch to all hell. Sometimes they'll stay, like, shocking, or they won't disappear when the timer goes out. Which you may think is a good thing, but it doesn't allow you to get the dragonfly, and then when the challenge resets, when you try again... This is actually a pretty tight challenge. When the challenge resets for you to try again, you have to like leave the level and come back, I think. Alright, so this one you have to do like some weird platforming trick there by by going down there and then coming up here. Getting this one. Alright, where's the last two? There's one over here. There's a low time noise. Did I get that? Yes, I got that. Just barely. And as you'll notice, the noise is still glitched up too, and you can still hear it. In the background. Forever. Alright, it went away. So it wasn't forever. I thought it would be, though. In that case, I was going to have to turn down the volume in editing. But, seeing as uh, I have no need for that... Also, one thing about this game is, uh, yellow gems, they're usually worth 10, 
but they don't have a uh, gem that's worth 25 in here. So s yellow gems can sometimes be worth 25 randomly, like that one we picked up when I started saying this statement was. There, that one was worth 25. You just kind of have to pay attention when you get yellows if you're wondering uh, what number pops out of them. All the other gems are worth what they were, though, in Spire 2. These blue ones here are worth uh, 5, the green ones are worth 2, the red ones are worth 1. And then yellow ones are worth either uh, 10 or 25. That one was a 25, as you can see by the 2 and the 5 that popped out of it. So of course they couldn't just put like a pink gem or, or a blue gem. It's pink in the original series. Wait, did they have 25 gems in Spire 2? I remember at least in the first game, Spyro 1, they had uh, 25 gems. Uh, either way, let's go talk to the guy out here on the island, because I think we have enough. It's either nine or it's either 10 or 15 to get out here, even though this is technically level uh, 3. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, we do have enough dragonflies, so we can just get on the boat. So we, we'll be going there later, though, because obviously I said that's level uh, 3 or 4, if you want to count this, this home world. Because in the next episode, we are actually going to be tackling on this, uh, the uh, space farm themed level. The farm invaded by space cows, or whatever the heck you want to call it. This one right over here. Oh gem there. Totally missed that. Good thing I checked. Yep, so you can ride his UFO if you please. And that's another 25. So you can ride that UFO and go to his world, but we'll be doing that in the next part. Again, I mentioned this in the last that part. I know this is kind of short, but I, I just kind of wanted to get this done, and then I'm going to start the next episode up in its own video, so I'm not sitting here uh... You know, wait, why am I here? Save game. So I'm not sitting here, uh, you know, with my game on for like three days because I don't feel like recording the next part right away. So this is Paper Spiral, and I'm going to see you guys in part five. Bye bye.